Hey guys, in this video, let's try to understand the concepts of work sharing. This is quite a simple concept, as we will be doing everything in group. Work sharing is not needed in minor projects or small projects, but if you are considering the bigger projects, you will be working in groups. You might not be the single person doing all these works, you will be working in groups. So the simple concept is, assume that you are having a rectangle or a square, maybe whatever it be. Okay, this object is drawn by a person called boss who is in control of everything. Maybe you can consider him as your manager. Alright, we are having an internal object. Okay, let's just say that this object is drawn by the person A and we will be having another object right outside. This can be maybe a furniture which is drawn by the person B. The simple fact is that the boss doesn't know how to draw anything which is provided by A and B or A doesn't know how to draw anything provided by B or the boss. Okay, these both are having, all of these three people are using a different hierarchy. One can be an architecture, A can be maybe a structural engineer or B can be a mechanical engineer. So both are coming from different hierarchy. Finally, after getting all these files of A and B, it is possible to club all these files, which is the same concept of external reference right in AutoCAD with a different name called as work sharing. First, what we'll be doing here is we will be creating a central file, okay, which is, I will show you the example. Okay, this one will be the central file, or you can say that this one is the master copy of everything by getting center file you could save the center file in a cloud which can be a360 or it can be like google drive or any place which can be accessed by a and b after making a local copy of the of center file the person a and the person b can copy this file simultaneously and work together the person A and B will be working in the parallel manner as their work doesn't interfere anything else. So let's try to get into Revit and let's see what are the application of these points which I explained here. So first we have to create the center file. So this one is the center file. Let me just get into the Revit architecture. Okay, right in Revit architecture, the first thing which we want to do here is, it is not compulsory if you are doing in multiple computers. First, let's get into the file and options. Follow this procedure if you are working on a single computer. First, let's change the name, which can call this a boss. Okay, this one will be the first guy. And we don't want to change anything else. Okay, first we have changed the name then let's pick up uh, a template file all right the first procedure is we have to enable work sharing in order to enable work sharing get into collaborate i'll be having work set option here right in here we could assign levels and grid right into a single particular work set what work set okay work set is defined as total number of persons number of persons working in a collaborative collaborative way so right in our case we are having total of two different work set our work set will be one is for a and the other one is for b so boss doesn't need any work set as he is drawing this first file so right in our case we will be having maybe let's say user a Okay, right in Revit architecture, we will be moving levels and grids right into a single work set. Work set means total number of persons working. So this one can be total number of persons working in the collaborative way. Let's say in our example, we'll be having two different work sets, which is user A and user B. So Revit have organized, Revit has organized levels and grids right into a single work set. So it can be accessed by uh, multiple persons. 
and uh, the next one is rest of the grids and elevations will be moved right into a different work set so which can be accessed by everyone so we are having user a so just hit ok right now we don't want to change anything right here just hit ok again now let's get into worksheet again now we are having user a here and i will be adding maybe user b user b okay uh all right that is it so now you can see that there are a total of three different worksheet which the first one can be ignored as i have not drawn any um, grids over here and we are having user A and user B here. So first, let's hit OK. And uh, you know they are asking you to whether you want to make user B active works. So it really doesn't matter if I hit yes or no, as I'm not trying to draw anything right in this project. So, so now the last step right in here is we would like to save this as a central file, maybe central file. Okay, so this is the central file right now. Now I'm gonna hit OK. What? A path doesn't exist what do you mean all right we have saved the center file now what we're gonna do here is all the works that created by user a and user b have to be logged and each of the individual user maybe user a have to pick up user a's model and user b have to pick up user b's model there's no chance of user a to modify user b's file which is quite very important okay an architect doesn't have any authority to modify structural engineers file so that have to be logged right in here is it editable no it's not editable okay I, I don't want to care what's happening in the levels and grids as I'm not minding that off so that is a simple case we have created the center file and we have logged all these uh, models created by user a and user b so thereby protecting the ownership of these individual users all right that's enough and hit ok and finally we have to synchronize it with central do not save it okay synchronize it with central all right hit ok again so now the procedure by boss is over okay now boss can go home boss uh, procedure of boss is over now let's get into user A's computer. So if you have a different computer, that's totally okay. As for now, in the first part, I don't have a different computer. All right, okay. So in order to convey, in order to convey to Revit that this is a different computer, I'm gonna rename it as user A. Okay, that's very good. And okay this is user A's computer right now now let's get into the server so I think the server is right here now this is the center file now what we want to do here is I'm gonna create a new folder call this user A and uh, one more folder call this user B user B okay I'll be copying this file right into user so let's try to copy the center file right for user a so i'm gonna copy this for user a and uh, the copy for user b so this is the actual procedure so now user a is having a central file so let's rename it for a conventional purpose so this is central local copy for user a and uh, let's get into user B and uh, I'm gonna rename we rename it as a uh, center file for local copy for user B okay renaming is quite important creating local copy is very important as we don't want to mess anything with the center file that's uh, so right now this is user a we want to open the file so file open there's no creating new file and uh, get into project and uh, this is for user a so let's open it up so you don't want to detach it from central so right now we are having user a user a is right on to the left and uh, we are having user b which is on the right okay and uh, let's try to open the file of this one is uh, created by user b Hi, this is just showing a warning that hey this you're working on a copied center file we don't want to care that it's don't close it and now let's open the file for user a so when it create open 
click on open and uh, am I gonna pick up a user A and uh, I would like to pick up the file which is copied for user A okay the same warning right here we want to close it so right now this is user A and this is user B alright all we want to do here is let's get into collaborate and we want to pick up the individual file hierarchy for each users so we're gonna get into work set I don't want to care anything about the editable options here uh, okay right in here we have to convey to Revit architecture that hey this is user A's files and user A should not modify anything on user B so right now we want to pick up user A should modify user A's files so we gotta make this option editable yes and uh, the same option for user B so get into collaborate and uh, work set and uh, user B should only modify user B's files there is no chance of user B or user A to modify the others files so that is violation yeah they will ask you to set the works we don't want to care that all right now we don't have anything here so user A and uh, here you can see user B so if user A try to draw anything here so maybe I'm having a wall here so we have drawn a file here but you know user B cannot see so it's not possible for user B to see user A's files until he synchronizes it with central and the other guy should reload the latest this is a basic simple procedure of we can call it as work sharing now if you should be trying to place any component maybe table here you should be had to synchronize it with central and user a need to reload the latest this object is being placed by user b so if user a try to modify anything here they will ask you hey guy this is not your object you have to place a request so if he place a request here and the other guy could get a message right here so if uh, do you see what is he saying hey the other guy had tried to move your object do you wanna grant the permission okay you can grant it so if we granted it the other guy will you know he can move this object okay the same case is happening for the other file if he tried to modify if if he tried to modify user A's file, you know, want to place a request and write for the other guy, hey, this other guy, user B had tried to move to your door. So, want to show it or? So, show it. Yeah, that's it. Now you can access this or you can grant the permission or you can deny the permission. Right now, I'm going to deny the permission. So, oh, yeah, the permission has been denied so this is the core concepts of work sharing now before closing i would like to synchronize with central and finally i would like to leave all the ownerships so i would like to relinquish all mine relinquishing file will remove all of your ownership so you will be no longer the owner so that's a simple case of relinquishing file it'll be quite compulsory to relinquishing your file before you exit out if you are quitting your company you have to give all your data which you have obtained from there so that's a simple and uh, yeah obviously you want to save the file and I like to close it and the same case is for here synchronize with central and uh, finally relinquish all mine and I want to save it and let's see what happened in the central file you can get all of these objects here which is drawn by user A and user B you can say that this object is drawn by user A and user B and that's all in this video.